you might ask yourself, why am I in the car park? Well, just have a quick look over here. Yep, that's a strap, ratched up all the way to the pole. You know what that means? I was pulling the radiator support and now it's back into its original place. So this is how you do a frame repair. Ain't that something? Well, you look at that. After this quick frame repair fix up, the hood lines up perfectly. Look at the gaps. Perfect. And this side, and this is the other side. And there is nothing uh, protruding out, nothing getting out, nothing this or so that. Look at the grill, everything is perfect. Before fixing up the, f the frame, what happened is we had a problem lining up this one, the grill. And what I noticed that, what happened is, let me just see if I can show it to you guys. Just need, see, even the hood latch works far much better now and everything should work just fine let's just sorry guys let me just put this one up in the air and show it to you there you go this is the radiator support it was bent inside and because it was bent inside basically what happened is the grill wouldn't line up properly and even the bumper when you put the bumper in you still can see massive space over here so it wasn't lined up good now everything is perfect in the right spot cool quick easy fix didn't cost us more than 19 dollars which is the straps that's it let's get the car out and start working on something So guys, what do you think? Base and clear coat all applied. Look how shiny. Nice. Perfect. And these are the flares. They turned up pretty good. Can't wait till they dry so that I can install them. And I even painted this one 
this plastic trim thingy. This one goes basically over here. Yep, it's over here. So I painted it and I lined up the flares for the back basically to start from there. So this one ends, the flare starts. See, I've already got some rabbits over here and in the other side as well. So far, we're doing a pretty good job. I even finished the trunk. I put the seal, the rubber seal, everything is good. So all what I need to do is basically just put the trunk, line it up and seal it properly. That leaves us with this side. This side is going to be a bit problematic. Uh, you see over here, this is one of the rabbits that I needed to bolt over here and it couldn't hold because apparently there is too much see yep too much mudding so I need to sand this one a bit at least in this area because I can feel a bow in it so this one needs to be sanded this one also needs to be sanded in order to make sure that it's perfect this one roof is good but no harm in a quick sand on this side in terms of the doors dings and stuff I've got some small imperfection over here I'm not sure that I'll be bothered with it but if I'm gonna work oh yeah and then there's another one over here and this one yeah this is a nasty one can you see it yeah that's a nasty one uh, let's just see can we work from the inside we may be able to because it should be somewhere here so if I'm gonna remove this plastic thingy I'll be able to actually put the hammer from the inside and just hammer it a couple times and hopefully that'll get it sorted out Apart from that, I guess everything should be all right. Cool. A few moments later. Hey guys, how you doing today? Well, to you guys, it's the same video. To me, it's the next day. As you can see, we've got the trunk back into place. Perfect. Even the fitment, everything is good. And you can clearly tell the difference in color because this is still the old one. This is the new one this over here this is the spray can one which is a slightly different color but overall i'm really happy and stoked with the outcome check how it looks and you know what come to think about it i don't think i'm gonna put the subaru emblem back again because man it looks mean without it one small imperfection that we had which is over here yep you can see it this is from the filler that we had uh, you can clearly tell that it's not exactly uh, flush with the trunk and that's why keep in mind this area over here this is where the spoiler gonna sit so if there's any imperfection it's gonna be completely hidden so I don't need to worry about that as for this one well uh, to be honest I've got a lot of things that I need to do in terms of paint correction so I'm not gonna worry about them now. I'll worry about them once I'm done officially with the paint. In terms of the flares, check them out. Check how gorgeous they look. Let's just take this one so that you can see it as a bright, see? Color match and it's just perfect. And just a quick tip, uh, if you look at it at the back, I don't know if you can see the scratches. Yep, what do you see over here? F R front right yep so each one of them whilst they're all identical the holes where they line up and everything they might be slightly different one from another see this one as well rare left R L and that is why I've basically put a mark just to make sure that which flare goes to which side now I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna polish anything now. I just need to make sure that at least I've got the paint done. I still got this area to sort out, this area to sort out, and of course, we still got the actual back of the car. Uh, the bumper, we need to remove it because we still need to install the plastic uh, flares that go over here or plastic spoiler, whatever you want to call it. This area, I still need to fix it and sand it a bit more. Uh, some imperfections in the door, like some dings over here and there that I need to sort them out before I actually start painting. Because one thing we've learned, this paint is brighter and lighter in color. So it's not as forgiving as the blue, this blue which means if there's any imperfection, it'll pop up even more. 
I don't want to screw things up. I've already screwed up a couple spots, which I'm going to have to tackle at a later stage. What I'm thinking today, install the flares, at least the front ones, because this area is almost complete. It doesn't need anything. Uh, even the polishing, I was thinking I want to do the polishing before I put it in, but then I thought about it. Nah. Let's just put it in, and when we're polishing, we'll polish on top of it. So that should be easy. Uh, so I'll do the first, uh, uh, the front of the car, at least, get that sorted. The back one, I don't know if you paid attention, I only drilled a few holes, I didn't drill the remaining two holes, because of this side. You see, the bumper is not properly installed, which means if I'm going to dig holes over here, then install it properly, they're not going to line up. So I figured, you know what, let's just leave it be. Good start to the day, let's kick start this one. Now, before I start applying it and installing it, I just want to let you know how this one works. You see the groove over here? What I'm planning to do is just put a double-sided tape, 3M. Now, 3M is expensive one, you can just buy something from eBay or something. Uh, granted, it's not going to be as good. I mean, you'll be lucky if it's a 2M or 1M. Get the joke? Uh, it may not be as sticky as the original OEM uh, 3M, but what you need to do first, once you apply the sticker on this side, use the heat gun, heat the area so that the tape itself becomes hot, and that basically means you're activating the glue ingredient in it even more, then you can just simply install it over there and screw it up. Once it dries out, it's going to stick proper. That's the theory, at least. Let's give this one a go and see if we can get it done. Cool. So, as you can see, there it is. And this is the 3M sticky double-sided tape. I've already cleaned this area first from any grime or anything and stick it up. And what you need to do now with the heat gun, just heat this area you'll see that I peeled part of it. I'll tell you why, because once you install it, you just don't want the sticky tape to be there. So once you install it in place, all what you need to do is just that piece, start pulling it, and then at that point, the glue inside will be protected till the very last minute, exactly when you need it. Pretty straightforward, I've got the heat gun, heat this area, then start applying it over there. I'll show you the final product once we're done, okay? Check it out, people. What a transformation. Wow. Now you may think that the color does not line up perfectly. It's only because of the angles and everything. That's why you may think this one is a bit more brighter than the other one. That being said, this one has a bit of more clear coat than this one. That's why it's slightly, but it doesn't matter. This one is painted almost two weeks ago, if not more, and this one only painted yesterday. So it needs some time to set, but man, check this corner. Look at it. Wow. And this is from the front, and we've done the other side, basically it's pretty much the same thing, same concept, just repeat. Look. Not only did we finish this, behind the scenes, I've done this. Yep. Told you guys, I told you the roof was ready. All what we needed is just a quick wet sand, wax and grease, remove any dirt and just apply the paint. We've done it before, so I didn't want to bore you with the details and how we do it and time lapse with the paint because I had to paint it inside and basically because it's a, hood, uh, it's a roof and way up, I had to bring like a couple of chairs in order to stand up and be on top in order to spray up down. 
not sideways. But it all went well. And see the contrast? This side is complete. So you can clearly tell how good it looks in the flakes. I don't know if you can see it, but man, it has good flakes. Few runs that I'm gonna have to tackle with the polisher, but apart from that, it's just perfect. Perfect. So guys, it was a good day, huh? We managed to do a lot of things and that's actually pretty good. We put the flares back on and they look epic. We mock fitted the back ones as well, but we're not gonna put them just yet because we still need to paint the uh, back of the car. I put the tail lights on and I took the car for a spin. To be honest, I just needed to see how the tail lights will sit on the car. And I took it to the, my mechanic because I needed to know what is needed to be done in order to register the car. I've got some bad news, guys. Uh, my mechanic basically said the uh, blue tent on the headlight, it needs to be removed because it's not compliant. Sydney, so you're gonna have to do that. Uh, I'm not gonna put it, uh, I'm not gonna remove it just yet because I've got another idea in mind which I've already bought it on eBay. It's only a matter of me receiving it and we'll discuss it later. Uh, I think it's gonna work. So it's more like a compromise. I'm meeting the government halfway there, okay? So hopefully we'll get it that sorted out. Uh, until then, if you like what you see, please share, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And uh, you take care of yourself. Until I see you next time, okay? Yalla.